I can't really say I'm that surprised, to be completely honest. I mean, I've been knowing this from the start, but Activision are just a bunch of greedy fools. What actually does surprise me, though, is even Activision's gooch eaters. You know, if Daddy Activision tells them to rub their feet, these people are gonna get down on their hands and knees proudly and start rubbing away. Even these people have turned their backs on Activision. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's the boy Fully, and I'm bringing you guys another video right here on Black Ops Cold War. And today, this is gonna be like a part two to my last video, kinda. We're gonna talk about a certain bundle again. And we're also gonna talk about these two new bundles, the Donnie Darko and the Scream bundle, and why exactly Activision is beyond greedy for this. But before we get into anything, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notifications if you'd like, and uh, let's get right into it. Oh, brother, guys, Activision are just a bunch of dirty, greedy, shady hogs, guys. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, and you haven't seen my last video, let me summarize very quickly for you guys. A few weeks ago, it was reported that a new bundle was coming into the shop, and this new bundle was going to cost $40. That's right, $40. In a game that cost $70. And anyways, this bundle was, you know, very generic, has some pretty mid content, a couple cool blueprints to be completely honest. It was called the Tagger vs. Big Joke Bundle. But the reason this bundle was so popular and so sought after was because it came with 5,000 COD points, which a lot of people really want, myself included. I would like 5,000 COD points. And the way Activision advertised this on Call of Duty's blog post about the bundle was that with those 5,000 COD points, you could use those on some extra spooky Halloween bundles coming to the shop soon for the Halloween event. And if you've been paying attention to what's been happening in Cold War and Wars in the last couple of days, the Halloween event finally came out and the Donnie Darko and Ghostface bundles are now available for you to purchase. Which I'm not gonna lie, even though I hate bundles, those two bundles actually look really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I love the theme. I'm a huge fan of Ghostface. I mean, just look at him. So even myself, for the first time, I was even interested in buying the Ghostface bundle. And so were a lot of people. But a lot of those people wanted to buy the Ghostface bundle or the Donnie Darko skin using the 5,000 COD points that were promised in this bundle that would be coming out on the 18th. Today is like the 20th, I believe. And that bundle is nowhere to be seen. There's no update on it. Nobody over at Raven or Treyarch or Activision have talked about this bundle at all since the initial blog post. And it's because this bundle has been either entirely canceled or it's been delayed. And the reason this is delayed or canceled, and this is also exactly the reason why Activision are a bunch of greedy morons, is because Activision actually doesn't want you to use those 5,000 COD points to get the Scream bundle and Donnie Darko bundle for free. Which, I'm gonna say this again, that's not free, first of all, but you know, to the people who thought it was technically free, that's not even technically free anymore. You can't even say that because they, they delayed it. So what we have here now is not only is Activision lying because this bundle didn't come out whatsoever and you cannot use those 5,000 COD points on the new bundles here. So not only is Activision lying about this bundle coming out on the 18th, which it didn't, they're also unbelievably greedy. And what I mean by that is not only is that initial bundle a complete joke, why it's called Tagger versus the big joke, because that entire bundle is is a complete joke charging $40 to people when this game only costs 60 or 70 I'm not gonna get into it my last video got a bunch of mixed reactions on me saying stuff like that my fault guys my fault I know Activision's gooch tastes incredible unfortunately it's just not my cup of tea all right but not only that now Activision is expecting their customers their die-hard fans they're expecting those people to buy both of these bundles 25 each and then after that buy that $40 bundle and get their 5k COD points later <laughs> Oh, Activision truly has no shame, guys. The craziest part is a lot of people are still going to buy all three of those bundles when this game right here, Cold War, is literally on its last three weeks of its entire life cycle. And yes, I know. You can use those god points in Warzone. You can use them in Vanguard. I understand. Just shut up, all right? I understand. But what Activision is essentially asking for from their entire fan base is absolutely ridiculous. So really quickly, let's do all of the math for the price of all of these bundles at the end of the day. Clearly, not a lot of people understand math and value use talking about a $40 bundle is free because of the COD points. I mean, guys, that's it. That's not free. But let's explain these prices really quickly. All right. Donnie Darko and the Scream Bundle, both 25 each. All right. That's $50. By the way, this game itself costs $60 to $70. I'm going to keep coming back to that too. So two bundles for $50, which is absolutely goddamn ridiculous. I mean, my fucking grandma wouldn't charge you $50 for two simple bundles. And then people are predicting that after the event is over or else towards the very end of it, that's when this Tagger versus Big Joke bundle is going to come out for a whopping $40. So we already have $50 for the two bundles plus another $40. So that is $90 on three bundles. But let's not stop there because Activision isn't going to stop there either. The cost of Vanguard. 
is another $70, which comes out in approximately three-ish weeks. So that is $160 between three bundles and a game. At its base version, by the way, in the span of about a month. All right, guys, I, I think we can all agree. That sounds like a lot of money. Now, if you're one of those people that keeps on commenting, you're just broke, dude. I have the money because I strip on the corner for it. I mean, that's you. You should be proud of your work. I agree. But to a lot of people, $160 is absolutely ridiculous in the span of a month just on Call of Duty products. Here's the thing. As much as I can roast that tagger bundle because it's absolutely ridiculously stupid, I will say this. I can empathize and understand the people who are saying, oh, you know, those 5,000 card points I can use on the screen bundle and the Donnie Darko bundle. And at the end of it, I'm actually saving a lot of money. And that's actually something that I do agree with. All right. Well, guess what? Activision knew you could do this and they actually promoted it so that you could do that. I mean, just take a look right here. Consider picking it up starting on October 18th before using those COD points on some extra spooky bundles that the haunting will provide. So they promoted this bundle so that you're tempted to spend $40 on 5,000 COD points to get these two bundles for free, quote unquote free, because they're not actually free, but you know, we'll, we'll go with it for now. But then they decided to change their mind or else just not say anything about it at all and sweep it under the rug. And so they literally lied to their fan base. The people who are actually willing to spend $40 on a bundle in this game, they just lied to those people. Now there's actually gonna be some people spending $90 <laughs> on these three bundles within the same couple of weeks. And again, I ask Activision, what do you need $90 for? Do I need to say it? All the people who are really mad at me in my last video, the funniest thing is a lot of these people have changed sides and are now calling Activision incredibly greedy when literally the other day they were calling me a dumbass for saying that this bundle is not worth it. Spending huge amounts of money on overpriced bundles is not worth it and that we should stop giving free money to Activision. But now a lot of people have switched sides and you know what? To those few people, all is forgiven. Another crazy thing is, in that last video, I was even saying myself that I would highly consider buying the Ghostface bundle. I'm a huge fan of the Scream films, and despite all the wrong that Activision has done by me, I mean, SBMM, seasonal content, incredibly overpriced bundles, buying butt plugs instead of working on their games, I was still willing to buy that Scream bundle for $25. Yes, I would have spent $25, guys. Everybody's saying I'm broke because I don't buy bundles. No amount of money is worth more than common sense, guys. I could see right through Activision's lies and greed. I refuse to buy bundles, literally, but I was gonna buy that Ghostface bundle until even their fanboys got duped themselves and started switching sides. Some of them even telling me I was right, but even Activision did wrong by you guys. And for that, I'm not gonna buy the Ghostface bundle anymore, even if it is cool. And while I'm very disappointed with Activision about this, I'm also also not very surprised because they've done stuff like this before in the past. All right, they try to get people to spend 10,000 COD points on a Modern Warfare 2019 bundle that was only going to give you the first battle pass, all right? Season one battle pass of Modern Warfare 2019. That thing was worth 10,000 COD points. And I can't really blame them entirely because that one wasn't actually announced. It was more of a leak, but it was very obvious that a lot of people knew about it. And since people wanted it, they spent money on 10,000 COD points in advance to buy that bundle. And it never came out. There was never a confirmation or a denial by Activision and that in itself is wrong. But this is even worse because this was announced and they straight up just lied and they haven't updated anything about it. The blog post literally says October 18th and today is the 20th and Activision. If you're going to continue putting out these horrible, greedy, overpriced bundles, just a word of advice, maybe don't lie about it. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. You think Activision is greedy as hell for this? Or if you're still going to buy these bundles, maybe let me know why kindly and as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new hit the bell notifications if you'd like and uh yeah guys it's been the boy fully have yourselves a good one i'm out of here to